Okay, we've got two points A and B. A has position vector T5, T minus 1. Don't forget we can also describe where A is as a position as a column vector as well. And position vector of B is 2T, T and 3. So we've got two points that aren't steady but are actually going to be moving around as I change T, the two points are moving around. And they'll also be moving around compared to each other as well. So what this question is asking me is, first of all, how do you get from A to B, the vector A, B? And because they'll be getting smaller and bigger close to each other as T changes, I'm saying, what value of T will make two points as small together as possible, and then after that they'll expand away from each other? And how far is the distance when they're closest together at all? So first of all, A, B. is always the other way around, B minus A. B take away A, 2T take away T is going to be Ti's. T take away 5 is going to be T take away 5 is J's. And 3 take away T minus B is going to be 4 take away T K's, like so. So that is the vector to get from A to B. Now, if the modulus of AB is equal to the square root of x squared square squared z squared. And that means that AB squared is all going to be now if the modulus of AB or the actual magnitude of how far apart A and B are is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared. And squaring both sides, that will mean that AB all squared is equal to Now, if the modulus of AB, or indeed any vector, is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared, then that means squaring both sides, modulus of AB all squared is just going to be equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So here, that's going to be equal to t squared, which is the number of the i, plus t minus 5 all squared, which is the number of the j, plus 4 minus t all squared. Now, multiplying up brackets and then simplifying, we end up with ab all squared is equal to 3t squared minus 18t plus 41. Now, if we call AB squared equal to Y, then we're going to have some kind of graph where, as T changes, AB will change as well. So, it'll start off on the two points are quite far apart. As T changes, they'll come closer, and then they'll come further apart again. So, we'll have a graph that looks something like this. So, the minimum is going to be like so. So how small the distance is from the moment further and further apart. So we can differentiate this and end up with dy by dt is equal to 6t take away 18. Minimums only happen when dy by dt is equal to 0. So we end up with a score of t is equal to 3 when the minimum happens. Now, if we go back up to ab squared is equal to 3t squared minus 18t plus 41 and we're sticking t is equal to 3, we end up eventually with a minimum value of ab is equal to the root of 41. <coughs> now, we have got two vectors, a, which is ui, plus vj, plus wk, and b, which is xi, 
is yj set k, the scalar product of the two vectors, a dot b is equal to u times x plus b times w. If we have two vectors, a, which is uI plus vj plus wk, and b, which is xi plus yj plus zk, the scalar product of the two vectors, a dot b, is equal to u times x plus v times y plus w times k. This is going to be a number that is going to be quite useful for us when we start to work out the angles between the two vectors. For example, if we've got a vector a equals a times minus 5j minus 4k and b is equal to 5i plus 4j minus 1k. The scalar product of this is going to be 8 times 5, 8 dot b, the scalar product, 8 times 5 is 40, minus 5 times 4, minus 20, minus 4 times 1, minus 4, that's all going to end up being 8 dot b is equal to 24. Don't worry about what that means for the time being, but we will be using it in a few minutes to work out the angle between the two vectors. <clears throat> now, we can put those two together and we can find out the angle between two vectors. If we've got two vectors A and B, then the angle between these two vectors is going to be, because of the angle, is A dot B, where A dot B is the scalar product, A and B, where A is the modulus of A and B is the modulus of B. So if we go through finding out all of these for two vectors, a equals minus 1i plus 1j plus 3k, and b equals 7i minus 2j plus 3k. First of all, calculating the dot product. a dot b is going to be minus 1 times 7, 1 times minus 2, and 3 times 2 is equal to minus 6. So a dot b turns out to be equal to minus 3. The modulus of A is equal to square root of minus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared, which is equal to square root of 11. And the modulus of B is equal to the square root of 7 squared plus minus 2 squared plus 2 squared. It's going to be equal to the square root of 49 plus 4 plus 4 going to be equal to the square root of 57. We can stick all those two all together to find the cos of the angle equals a dot b divided by the modulus of a and the modulus of b equals minus 3 divided by the root of 17 root 57 and finally we end up with the angle is equal to 